Hello everyone, uh, Big Friendly Wargamer here, as usual. Um, now I've got a little bit of an extra thing today. This is my unboxing of 40k Conquest, um, which I've got the latest set. Now this is the big four Repulsor issue set, um, but I also have issues 7980. Um, now this is because I asked a friend to get them for me from Forbidden Planet, which is the shop that actually deals with the magazines. Um, so my Con 40k Conquest set is complete now. Um, I've still got two issues to come from Hatchet, the company that send it out, um, but I'm not waiting on them now. They can they turn up when they turn up. They'll probably be halfway through April, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start my unboxing uh, once I clear my desk again. Um, and we're going to get to concluding 40k Conquest unboxing. Uh, see you in a moment. Right, now this is going to be a little bit of a longer uh, video than normal. Purely because I've got six issues to get through rather than four. Issue, first one is just issue 75. Now... I'm going to show you these sprues, but not very thoroughly, because they all build one model, basically. So this is sprue number one. Zoom in a little bit. Now, obviously, that's the top of the tank. Uh, you can see that's the, probably the front. Uh, you've got the engine housings, the, the back door, side doors. Um, what I want to say is the repulsor generators, engines, more doors. Um, you got some detailing like the Aquila bits, the lights. Um, so it's it's quite an intensive kit to build. I mean, it is appropriate for right at the end of the magazine. It's just I wish the Death Guard has had something this big as well. But the only only model that Death Guard have got anywhere near this is Mortarian, and they were never going to give you Mortarian in this set. So right, on to the magazine, issue 75. Let's zoom back out again. Right, so issue 75. Space Ring Repulsor, because this is what everyone's been after. Um, this is why a lot of people have actually bought these magazines, because if, if you don't buy the, third, the fourth issue, which is just a base and transfers, um, then it works out the repulsor costs you twenty four pound, which is about half price, so it's a pretty good deal. Telling you its stats, its armor rating, its speed, its firepower. Um, then that's something something what mine will look like because I'm going to paint it as Blood Angels. Um, now they're talking about the repulsor execution, which is a newer kit. Um, it's a more dedicated tank than this. It, I don't think it can carry any troops. But it's got bigger guns. Um, Tell you all the weapons that the repulsor's got. It's got loads. As you can see from this, it's equipment, uh, war gear details. Um, Wars of Iron. I believe it talks about the uh, Iron Hands, which are a space free chapter. Um, now, this is something that surprised me. They've actually jumped in. Uh, all these are Victor. The um, new Space Marines have come out quite recently and uh, they've actually jumped on board with this quite quickly. So the Victor Tactical War Suit is basically it's a live Space Marine in a, a Dreadnought exosuit nearly. Um, it still for me isn't a Dreadnought but it looks okay. Um, obviously in different chapter colours, Ultramarines and Iron Warriors. Well, I, uh, Raven Guard, sorry. Um, talking about the Silver Templars, who are the uh, specific chapter that Hatchet have made up for 40k Conquest. Uh, how, how they become Silver Templars. Um, moving on to the uh, 40k Factions. Uh, forces of the A Eldar, which is the Unari. Now, the Unari are a mixture of all three Elder Factions. The Harlequins, the Dark Elder and the Craft World Elder. Um, and at the end of the 7th edition, they were very, very powerful. Um, showing you the colour schemes that they use. 
Uh, and onto the showcase, so you've got their three characters. You've got, I believe it's Yvain, Yvain, uh the Inkine, no, that's the Inkine, and that's the Avatar. Um, I don't own any of their models, and probably never will. Um, showing you some other models that are uh, associated with that faction. Um, Ultra Rings Chapter Relics. Uh, specific for the Ultra Rings, can't really be used by any other chapter. Um, example of using relics Death Guard relics. Obviously, Death Guard only. Um, showing you how to use the relics of decay. And on to the, uh, using the rules. Uh, raid on the Medicaid facility. And then the mission is called Medicaid Raid. So obviously no no build guide because uh, you won't have the parts to build these models yet. Because issue 76 has more of it. More of the repulsor. This, now the repulsor spread across three or four issues, depending on how you look at it. So again, look at the sprue. Now that's the, obviously the bottom of the tank. Uh, the sides, let's get a bit of a close up on it. The sides, they're the actual repulsor feet. Um, and various other bits and pieces. No weapons as yet. I believe they're on the next sprue. But yeah, more of the tank. And an issue 76. Um, straight away talking about Space Marine Tech Marines, who are basically the the guys who look after the Space Marines vehicles during uh, time wartime and downtime. And Master of the Forge is the head of that order. Um, and then talking about the Thunderfire Cannon, which is a Tech Marine armed weapon. Um, how to build a Space Marine Repulsor. Uh, obviously, I don't think it's going to give you the how to... Well, it might do give you the full how to build. Now, the magazine seems to be falling apart. Uh, so, yeah, it, this looks like... Oh, it's, just, it's all coming apart. It looks like the full thing. I don't know why the magazines are now all of a sudden falling apart after all these issues. Now this is a lot, I know, but they they had to do this at some point. Yeah, this is the complete build. So you got obviously the turret and the hundred weapon systems that it has, and that's what it will look like. Sunk in the end, hopefully. Um, now that is a really weird sort of base and um, you can, it's showing you can blue tack it down I'll probably magnetise it so it can come off its base um, and the rules are for nowhere to run the mission is called Scorn Out Scorn Asunder ok and then it talking about the city hill colour system which is something they should have gone into a little bit a little while ago but there you go that's issue 76 now issue 77 by straight into the sprue as you can see it's the turret and the, the weapons it does have like I said it has a lot of weapons let me zoom in give you some idea of the detail so like that's the heavy stubber uh, that's the las cannon uh, now I'm not sure what all of these are called um, I've, I've painted a repulsor once it was for a friend of mine so he magnetized it and I probably will do the same so I can have all weapons on it um, but we'll see so yeah that's the sprue for that so that makes the repulsor complete and on to issue 77 where I, I'm sure they're going to tell you how to paint it um, talking about Space Marine Devastator Squads uh, now this is something that should have really been spoken about a long time ago because let's, let's get that a bit wider angle that's better um, 
Devastating squads are kind of key to Space Marines. Um, so there you go, yeah. Devastator war gear. So they are fire support with heavy weapons. So as you can see, this this Ultramarine squad, it has a LAS cannon, missile launcher, heavy bolt, or a Grav cannon. Now you probably won't build Devastators that broadly. Um, you'll probably dedicate one squad to be anti-tank, one squad to be anti-infantry, something like that. Um, moving on to Centur Centurion Devastators. Now these are more heavily armed versions of Devastators. Uh, as you'll be able to see. Well, you won't be able to see because I haven't got to give you pictures of the actual models, but there you go. Um, each model carries two heavy bolters or two LAS cannons plus some missile launchers, so they're quite versatile. Um, talking about Space Marine Company organisations, um, so obviously the veteran company of Captain, Lieutenant, Chaplain, Apothecary, and Ancient. And then 10 veteran squads with dreadnoughts and transports as well. Then you've got a second company. It's lieutenants, chaplains, apothecary, ancients. Uh, so this is a slight different from what you might have seen in, in codexes. Uh, six battle line squads. Now they used to be just called six tactical squads. You didn't have a choice. Uh, two close support squads. They used to be just assault squads. And two fire support squads, which used to be devastator squads. Um... But now, obviously, you can take Hell Blasters, Intercessors, um, Inceptors, that kind of thing. Going through the other companies as well. Now, 40k factions, Necrons. Now, uh, if you know me, you'll know that I collect Necrons, and I have done for a long time. Um, this is the first mention of Necrons in 40k in these magazines, and it is issue 77. So... They don't seem to mean very much anymore, but there you go. Now, my Necrons look a lot different to these. This this turquoise and, and gold colour. Mine are a bone and turquoise. Uh, now, I know it's got turquoise in it, but mine do look very different to that. And the showcase of models. Um, how to paint the Repulsor, like I said. Um, saying about keeping parts separate so you can paint them separately and stuff. Uh, painting the silver. So, yeah, so by now you will have your full paint range with this. So it should show you all the way from start to finish. You can have the gunner popping out of the hatch. Which I never do. I don't like that. Um, as much as the gunner looks cool. I, I've just never liked doing that. And then your repulsor should look something like that in the end. Mine's going to look a lot redder than that obviously. Um... And the mission is now called Crash Landing. Uh, with the mission itself being called Recover the Repulsor. So the Repulsor's in the middle. And I assume the Space Marines have to get to it before the Death Guard do. So there you go. Okay. So on to issue 78. Now, this is a bit of a letdown of an issue. It actually hasn't got a transfer sheet on here like, like they said it would. They purely have the base for the Repulsor. Now, that from Games Workshop is three quid. Um, that you can make. Kind of pointless. But they charge you eight quid for it. What can you do? So yeah, that's the base for the Repulsor. I feel very happy that I've got that. There we go. Talking about issue 78. Um, faction faction. look at the Inquisition. Now, they're supposed to be... Uh, they are Imperium based, but they're very, they've got quite a free reign. Um, so they don't always side very well with Imperium, but we'll, that'll, you'll find out that eventually. Uh, talking about Assassins. Uh, assassins are a nice faction in 40k now you can only ever have one of each there's only four um and they're unique models you can't have any more than that um and they're really nice models i think i own two of them i believe i only ever saw assassin and the vindicare i don't own a Calexus or the calador i think it's called um well calderas Calexus, that's it um 
So I've got the Vindicare and the Eversaw. They're the old uh, fine cast models, but and I might get around to painting them at some point. Uh, another faction, Sisters of Silence. Now these are quite a new thing in 40k. Um, these these were mainly around in the Horus Heresy, and they're they're very rare in 40k. Um, showing you what they look like, carrying their big swords. Um, now now. I, all in all, these three factions are considered uh, Imperial Agents um, and it's showcasing some of the models. So you've got an Inquisitor there, you've got a, a big uh, Inquisitor on a throne, that one. So then you've got Sister Silence there. And then talking about factions, Demons of Nurgle. There's not very much on them to be honest. Uh, Talking about the the, the Nurgly tree. Uh, then moving on to the Space Marine Impulsor. Now that this is the dedicated um, infantry version of the Repulsor, but it can't carry very many. I think it carries the same amount as the Repulsor does, which makes no sense. But there you go, and it looks okay. Um, it's a little bit too expensive, money-wise, for my liking. Um, for but what is a basic transport? So. I much rather these Storm Ravens. Now, people said these models were terrible when they came out. I really like them. I've always liked Storm Ravens. Um, so much so, I would like to get myself one or two more. Um, just money dependent at the moment. Um, so, showing you uh, Tech Marine Gunners. Uh, so, they're Blood Angels. So, the Squadron Leader would be Black Shoulders. The uh, gunship pilot would be red shoulders and then showing you the markings as if they were um, grey knights and then talking about space ring chapters and this is going with crag uh, so this is the home world of the ultramarines uh, telling you about the tyrannic wars against the uh, tyranids uh, and the plague wars against the death guard and rules wise it's called Big Guns Never Tire. Now this used to be a mission in uh, 40k, and I believe it still is actually, uh, where heavy support squads used to be scoring units. Um, the mission itself is called Rolling Thunder. And then it gives you the stats for the Repulsor, which is quite a big data sheet, to be fair. Um, and giving you some more fluff on uh, uh, Warhammer stores. And now on to issue 79. <clears throat> now, this is terrain. And this rounds out the uh, 40k conquest. So, it is a set of walkways. There's not much to it, to be fair. Um, but I want, I need, needed more of these walkways because I'm building a very um, industrial built. Um, uh, terrain set so I do need a lot of these and I, I, these are quite easy to, pa easy to paint as well as you've seen I might have, I've painted some before um, and on to issue 79 I'm getting near the end um, Strange talking about the Death Guard Defilers now it's, Defilers aren't generic for Death Guard you do they're Chaos Space Marine Defilers so you have Black Legion ones you have Death, uh, Death Guard ones uh, Thousand Sons, I don't know if they can have them, but um, talking about their weapons, so they've got their battle cannons, their havoc launchers, reaper auto cannons, their they they're controlled by demons. They can take heavy flamers, power the fighter claws, and the the fighter scourge. I love the scourge; it's it's really powerful in 40k, um, and. Onto the other version of the Philo, which is called a Soul Grinder, which is more of a demon than a machine. Um, and the, the Nurgle ones are called Plague Hulks. Um, and they're talking about the uh, Chaos God Stanish, which is one of the four Chaos Gods. Uh, showing you some of their models there. Their Demonettes, their, their, their Heralds, their Demonettes. That's the Fiend of Stanish. And their random characters. And that's the key for secrets. I love that model. At some point, I will buy one and paint one. He looks so cool. Um, 
on Space Ring War Machines, you've got Space Ring Land Speed of Storm. Um, and I, this is one vehicle for Space Rings I don't actually own. Um, because up till recently, Blood Angels haven't been able to take them. Um, but now they might be useful. They look pretty cool. So you get the Scout Squad on the back. Um, on the, now this is talking about the Magnavent Walkway. Uh, which is actually spread across two issues. Yeah. So some of this you can't do until the next issue. Uh, so the, the actual struts, the walkway itself, you can't do until the next issue. So in this one, you've only got the, the actual straight walkways. Um, but that probably means they're going to show you how to build it in this issue and then paint it in the next issue. Um, Telling you about the three ways to play 40k. Um, then it's showing you the rule book, the campaign books, uh, chapter approved, which is uh, every year it comes out. Um, so the three ways to play are open play, which is basically just putting down on the battlefield what you want to put down on the battlefield, um, playing with all your toys if you want to, so to speak. Um, narrative play is playing to a storyline, so it will tell the, the mission will tell you what models to include well it doesn't go in that far but it's just depending on faction and stuff and then match play which is where you build an army to a set amount of points and uh, you generally play same points against same points against your friends or your enemies um, the mission, this episode's mission is called Terror from the Deep and the mission itself they came from the deep um, no idea what, mission, what that mission means, but we'll get to it. And number 80. Now this is actually got two big screws in it. So you've got more of the walkway. So with the nice skeleton spider, uh, skull spider in the middle. Uh, the supports and these are the uh, rails, the bigger rails as well. And then you got the sprue with all the all the uprights, and the ladder, uh, ladders, uh, some hanging down bits, wires and stuff. And that is the last sprue that you get from 40k Conquest. Um, so on to on to issue 80, which is the last one. Um, of course, talking about this about very right at the end, least important faction in 40k. <laughs> They're just getting a new range at the moment, so they, they may have put this in really late, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if there are any of the new models are in here. I don't think they will be. Um, so this is about a showcase. That's quite a new model, but it's from last summer, I think. Uh, Saint Celestine's been out for a while. Um, yeah, I would say they look like the older models. I don't think they're the new stuff. Um, on to painting the Magnavent walkway. Uh, so, by now you will have all these paints. Well, you should have all these paints. They may have run out. Um, so yeah, painting it silver and non oil all over. Letting it dry because it's going to take a long time to dry without much non oil. Detailing so on and so on um, so it looks something like that and uh, using the magnetic walkway in your games um, showing you how to use cover uh, in 40k which is it's a bit of a hit and miss thing now cover doesn't really matter too much um, now mission briefing is called play planet and the war for Convon 2. Corvon? Corvon 2. Um, now this is like a little campaign thing it looks like. Um, they tell you the little briefings and the missions. And obviously you can refight this if you feel like it. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, that's supposed to be a 2D version of the um, Chaos Gate thing. Uh, which I, I would like one of them at some point. I don't own one yet. Uh, the the Noculeth Crown, I believe I believe it's called. 
Um, yeah, I would really like one of these. At some point, they're really nice pieces of terrain. They look like that. You can see that. There you go. And then the mission is the end is nigh. And then, of course, as always, Space Rings win. Right at the end, Space Rings win. Um, or, well, okay. Space Ring victory. If your Space Rings win this, the whole campaign, you read this out. If Death God win the whole campaign, you read that out. And showing you uh, all your issues, all 80 issues of 40k Conquest, which is now complete. Um, obviously, on the back, no what's next. Just showing you about um, Warhammer stores and independent stockists. And that's that. That is your AC issues of 40k Conquest. Yep, so there you are. All 40, all 80 issues of 40k Conquest now complete. Um, now I do need to actually get some of these back from my nephew because he's got the first 18 issues of mine. Um, I, I love having complete things like this. I did it with um, Lord of the Rings when um, Diagonasi done it. Um, but yeah, I it, it's been nice collecting this. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a review of the whole broad thing as it as it as it is as it's finished now um, and I'm going to do that in another video uh, but for now if this has been of any use to you please feel free to subscribe I know it's the end of the 40k conquest thing um, but I've still got some death guard to paint so I'm going to do a death guard um, painting blog I'm going to do that uh, start again today I believe um, I've got like five, six models to paint. So I'm gonna see about getting them done. Uh, four of which are the spawn. I've still got to build the tallyman. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been nice collecting uh, a 40k army bit by bit uh, and not buying it mass like I normally do. Um, but yeah, but I'll, I'll talk about that more in the, in the um, overview, the review of the conquest itself. Um, and I'll see you soon. Uh, bye bye.